When you've fallen off, maybe you've noticed a little bit of weight gain or more pain in certain areas of your body, or maybe overall just feeling not as energetic or motivated. How do you start living a healthier lifestyle? Maybe the yes comes before the readiness. Maybe you say yes, and then you become equipped to handle whatever is about to happen. That's a quote by Glennon Doyle. For those of you that don't know, my name is Heather. Last year, I discussed my achievement of successfully losing over 30 pounds, but at the end of 2023, I started to gain some of the weight back. To be clear, I'm not scared of gaining weight, but the gaining weight was a byproduct reminding me that I was falling further and further away from the healthy, mindful, and successful habits that had got me to my weight loss in the first place. And when I say healthier lifestyle, my definition of that is prioritizing balancing your life for better physical, mental, and just overall emotional well-being, aka doing what we can and what is in our power to be proactive, basically taking control of our lives. So keep watching and I'll go through my three-step framework that will absolutely get you back on that healthy lifestyle, back on the grind, and help you feel in control of your life again. Let's go. Playground parks with the trees and the cars. Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch. Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost. Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store. Subway stations with the maps and the cars. Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on. Statue of Liberty, we holding up the torch. If they ask where I'm from, tell them this is I know it's easy to want to go all in in the beginning and change everything all at once, but that is so unrealistic. When I do that, I find it never works because I come up with a full laundry list of stuff that I want to do and then I actually end up doing like two of them. Okay, so step one, when I'm lost and I don't know what to do to get back to my healthy lifestyle, is set goals. So today when I'm recording this, it's the end of March and I'll be posting this in the beginning of April. For anyone who is in the corporate environment, you know that April is the start of Q2 because the year is divided up into four quarters. So let's just look at setting goals for these next three months. So let's set SMART goals. And if you've never heard of it, SMART goals stand for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Relevant, and Time-Bound goals. It's always helped me with my direction because I know exactly what I want to do and when to do it. And hey, try setting goals for the next three months with me. To be successful at living a healthy lifestyle, my next tip and recommendation would be to have an accountability partner. Because I found that when I would attempt a new healthy lifestyle by myself, I would always trick myself into getting out of it. Like I would always come up with excuses for why I shouldn't have to do that, why I shouldn't have to wake up early. You know, let me snooze the alarm instead of getting up or let me order out instead of actually cooking at home. Because you know what is motivating? When you get a DM in the morning telling you that your bestie is in the car coming to pick you up and y'all are gonna make it to the gym today. People that work out alone have a 43% dropout rate. So having an accountability partner motivates you to do an extra rep, get an extra workout in, and just make sure you have someone to check up on. Or if you're feeling kind of down and you don't feel like committing, you can have someone that you can talk to. If you don't feel like you have someone in person, um, I wanted to announce that I'm also starting a new Discord group. I really want to nurture a community of like-minded people who are driven individuals trying to better themselves. I would love to see this community grow and for all of us to work together and help each other. Hopefully we can be everyone's accountability buddy. So please consider joining the Discord. The link will be in the description and let's continue to motivate and support each other. Playground parks with the trees and the cars. Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch. Murals on the walls for the one that we lost, well, they get more ladies in the bed. Promising contraptions. Does it involve the beer? Yeah. 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 So, your body is a full fledged living organism and machine, which means that you get 
out of your body what you put into it. So step three for this framework is the 80-20 rule. Now, if you're not familiar with the 80-20 rule, it's the idea that 80% of your outcomes come from 20% of your causes. So the biggest advice that I have as step three is to follow the 80-20 rule. For meals, you know what's good for your body and what makes you feel the best and keeps you energized. And that's whole natural foods. So when possible, 80% of the time, try to get your energy from whole natural foods. I find that this works best when I try to eat at home or cook my own meals a majority of the days out of the week. What's really, really helped me is also meal prep plans. Right now I'm doing HelloFresh. I also recommend things like Snap Kitchen and Factor Meals too. Now the other 20% of the time, be able to go out and enjoy yummy things, not feel any regret, and definitely don't use exercise as a form of punishment. With fitness, it's maybe not necessarily 80-20, but I apply it to days out of the week. I do try to get up and get active majority of the days. If you go cold turkey and cut out things completely, that's never going to help you. So incorporate more activities. Try to have more active days throughout your week. So being more active and focusing on your diet are gonna be two things that are really gonna help your overall well-being and lifestyle. And I bet you'll even have a lot more energy to continue with your other goals as well. It's delicious. Lemon lime. Get you some of that. I don't know. What do you think? It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Look, it's never too late to become who you want to be and to live the lifestyle that you want to live. I've always been of the mindset that you should be proud of the life that you're living because ultimately you're the one that needs to live your life and it's all about taking responsibility for your actions. It's so easy to blame our life and circumstances, but when you realize that you actually have so much more control than you think, it's actually so motivating and empowering. It's a new month, a new beginning, so let's treat it that way, shall we? Are you going to start on this healthy lifestyle with me? If so, leave a comment with something you want to achieve with me by summertime. Don't forget to join the Discord. Good luck and let's do our best.